The parentification of the brown kids is a problem and I'm ready to talk about it. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to Red Lipstick Reality. If you're new here, hey, welcome you guys to my channel. We have a great time over here. We're talking a lot about sister wives, a little bit about the Golden Bachelor. So definitely join us by hitting that subscribe button. Turn on all your notifications because I do go live sometimes and it's a great time chatting with friends. If you're coming back, you guys, hey, welcome back. Hit the like button, hit the share button. This is gonna be a video that we're gonna be talking about, I think for a while, because it's a conversation we've been having that I've gotten some mixed reactions about. And I really want to talk about it. If you guys haven't seen that, I actually joined a live video with Gwen a little bit back. And um, without a crystal ball, I don't care how you feel about the channel, without a crystal ball, took a clip from that live where I asked the question to Gwen about the parentification of the kids in the Brown family and how she felt about it. Did she think that the kids in the Brown family had been parentified? And you see that Gwen not only says yes, validates that and goes further into why Gwen believes that the kids had been parentified. There have been multiple, multiple things that we have seen play out on Sister Wives that really highlight why it is important for us to talk about this issue and how it has probably impacted these children, now adults today, and why if you're gonna have this many children, you need to be able to take care of those kids. As we saw you guys from episode one, if we go back, which I can't wait to do um, a, a rewatch of the seasons, and I know you guys have been waiting to do that, so I'm hoping to launch that soon to do a rewatch. But if you guys go back to season one, you basically go through the routine of the Brown family. And one thing that glaringly stood out to me in season one, episode one, is that Logan Brown, who is the oldest son, he's actually the oldest child of the whole family. He's Janelle's oldest child. He basically took on parental roles at a very young age because number one, his mom was one of the main breadwinners, Janelle, so she was leaving very early in the morning to work. And Cody was splitting his time between three different homes. So guess what? That means that Logan was stuck with doing a lot of the parental duties that should have fallen to another parent. Logan was waking up early every single morning. He was getting all of his siblings up. He was getting them all ready for school, cooking breakfast for all of his kids. And check out this clip here, you guys, because this is where uh, Janelle basically verifies exactly what I'm saying. Lehi Logan was getting my kids ready to go out the door to school. I don't know where Cody was. Now, everyone has been kind of team Janelle. I'm not saying Janelle's bad, but I feel like we have not held Janelle accountable, held Cody accountable, Christine accountable, and yes, Mary accountable to the high level of parentification that happened to these children while they were in their struggle phase living in Lehigh in that one house. Now we see Cody in this clip coming up from this upcoming Sunday where he has time for Robin's kids, the same time he never had for his other kids. But check out what his response is to why he's doing that. I was actually taking Ariella and Solomon to school because I liked it. We were just working so hard to make ends meet before. And now that I have a chance to do this with Solomon Ari, it's like this, like it's it's like this second chance. But Robin never asked me to do it. Now I want to know what in Cody's brain made him believe that he would get no kickback, okay? No one having any any issues with the fact that he is investing in and doing all the things with Robin's children that he never did with any of the other 13 children. Why he would believe that Christine, Janelle and Mary would be completely okay with him going above and beyond for Robin's children and leaving their kids hanging out to dry. Now this is what's interesting 
as he mentions in this that he made a conscious effort to take Solomon and Ariella to school. Truly is maybe a year, less than a year older than Solomon. I don't recall in any of this that this man felt that truly deserved to have a redo. That truly deserved for him to give her the undivided attention that he was not able to give her older siblings. So why was it okay for him to leave the other wives' homes to take care of Robin's children's children, but it was not it was not okay and it was not a focus for him to take care of Truly. Truly was the same age as Solomon. The difference is maybe a year, and I don't even think it's a year, you guys. Gwendolyn, as well as Isabel, were very young. They were, I believe, six and like seven, maybe even five and seven when this show launched, back when they were in Lehigh. So when they moved to Vegas, they were still under 10 years old when they moved to, to Vegas. Savannah was five years old when they were in Lehigh. Savannah was literally under 10 years old. Why was there accommodations made for Robin's kids that he was unwilling to make for the young children of Janelle and Christine? Now, I'm going to tell you right now, they can tell me all the excuses they want to. And I think Janelle, to me, is one of the biggest criminals when it comes to this because her child, Logan, to me was one of the most parentified children I have ever seen. And it doesn't mean that he wasn't responsible, you guys, and it doesn't mean that he didn't learn great life lessons. I'm sure he did. But he had no choice. He basically had to give up his childhood because his parents decided to have way more children than they were able to physically take care of themselves. Janelle was more focused on going to work. She'd rather go to work than take care of all these kids she had. Logan didn't tell you to have these kids. So why is Logan responsible for taking care of these children that you and Cody had? Why was it okay for Cody to be absent with all of these children? I want to know. And I'm sorry, at this point, you guys, TLC, I'm holding you liable for basically putting this family up on a pedestal when we look at it now and we're like, this is a mess. These kids were not paid. These kids were parentified. And now we're looking at it all come out and everyone's giggling and laughing about it. This clip, you know, Janelle's low-key giggling about it. Like, oh, I don't know where Cody was. What do you mean you don't know where Cody was? He was a dad. So you've been making all these videos talking about there was no, ne no neglect. Did she not say this? There was no neglect or abuse. When your children are not properly taken care of and given the guidance and support that they need, that's called neglect, Janelle. You were neglected and your children were neglected. And I know that might be hard for you to hear. I, might, I know that might, might be a tough pill to swallow. But to try to pretend that that did not occur is crazy to me. Why are you going out to dinner with a man that has neglected your children and you for decades? Because he dropped by the house in Lehigh and gave you a kiss before he kept it moving? That gave Cody a pass? Why did not Cody stick around to make sure he helped Logan get those kids up? It's one thing if a child is helping and assisting their parent when they are taking care of children, it's quite another for you to leave that full responsibility with your child. And I'm sorry, Christine is not exempt because she said multiple times that her home didn't even operate the same without Aspen around. Aspen was another child that was heavily parentified. I'm gonna say I don't remember a time ever where Cody left Robin's house to come over to my house to help get my kids off to school. I don't know how you guys feel about this. This is something that really bothered me. And when I saw this clip, I said, once again, here we go. Let's let's acknowledge the level of parentification that happened to these children. And Cody, for you to think it's okay for you to do for some children that you didn't do for others, you don't get to do a redo. And you wonder why these relationships are so bad. And Robin, you don't just get to say there's going to be an issue. You need to say, 
because I know for a fact, because everybody does know for a fact, this is going to be an issue. I'm sorry, Cody, but no, actually, you will not be doing this. And if you are going to do this with the kids, then we're going to bring this family together and we're going to talk about how we can uh, deviate your time, divvy it up to where maybe you're not picking those kids up, but you're spending some extra time with these other children to help develop those relationships that you fall, that fall by the wayside because you guys didn't have enough money, apparently. Now, now all of a sudden that you've got TLC money, these kids get a be, get treated better than your other children. And you've made a no atonement for that, right? You've taken no responsibility. You haven't apologized at all for your complete absence. And you guys lied on national television for years, making it seem as though this man was present when he wasn't. He was not. Y'all, that was a crazy one. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you haven't liked this video, like this video, guys, share it. Um, subscribe if you're new. But yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me about the how you feel about the parentification of the brown kids and these clips. Do you think that Robin's kids deserve more than what the other kids did simply because Cody had time and money? I don't know. We'll see you guys later. Bye.